All right, it's Hell the Real episode 10. So you know we got to keep the guests coming. This episode, we have Tongo Eyes and Martin. So come to the stage. He's an old friend. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. 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 Chongo's an old friend from the neighborhood, you know, yeah. we used to always be kicking it, well, I used to not do but we used to be kicking it on your sister, we get right. to know today. Right. We're all grown up now. Yes, we well, are. Already grown back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, you now you're a poet, or you might have been always a poet, I don't know. Well, now, now everybody knows I'm a poet. <laughs> yeah. 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 So what was the first poem you ever wrote, and how old were you? I was five years old. And, and uh, this, I think it was like a school assignment. They uh, around Langston Hughes, like they they read us a Langston Hughes poem, and then they said, "Now you write a poem." And I wrote the poem, and it was exceptional for, <laughs> for, for, for a five-year-old, you know. And it was like the the buzz of the little school, and, and uh, you know. Did you even do it at the assembly? Nah, it was just kind of an underground phenomenon okay. around school. Okay, you went viral before yeah, it was Right, 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 right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, kids was like, you're going to be a poet when you grow up. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. Um, so it, it's kind of, all I have to say, kind of like, it's it really one of the, I think, the journeys, um, or especially the journey of a poet, because it's such a weird kind of art. Um, it's kind of like as it moves to your central identity. So, you know, I've been writing poems the whole time or even my little raps and this type of thing, but, you know, it actually becoming the first thing I say when you ask me, you know, what I do, you know, that, that's what takes time. So, I don't know if I can spell my name at five. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know my lowercase letter. <laughs> Now, what was the pivotal moment when you decided, like, okay, poetry is my thing? You know, That's it's the path that I take. It, the path chose me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's, it, I think it's like you can get when you have a knack for something, you can actually get pretty uh, far uh, and, and pretty recognized without putting your all into it. So I think it was just like a gradual. Um, a gradual journey of me taking the, the craft more and more serious until uh, you know it's kind of like one day you wake up and it's almost too easy or it, the, the response is, is um, you know it's always well received um, but yeah I, I think you know it, it, it all just came down to you know my relationship to, to, to the craft and just doing as right by it as I can and once I kind of flipped into that mode you know it's, it's, it's hard to say it was on this day. You know, I wasn't struck by a, a light or fell off a, a donkey or anything <laughs> like that. But, um, but there is definitely, like, there's, there is kind of a looking back and you say, okay, I saw uh, what I wasn't doing then and what I'm doing now. What was the first poem that you were commissioned to write? It wasn't just your creative. Uh, oh, where they started paying me? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and then the coin. Yes. When I got the coin, I think, you know, actually the, 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 uh, the coin it, it came, you know, like last month. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like the, the coin is a coin. The coin is a coin. Right. Right. Yeah, now it's better than never, you know. Um, it, it, you know, that, that actually there was a, um, and it's part of kind of like the biography of that book. Um, there, there's this uh, this uh, this site that the uh, San Francisco Museum of Modern Art runs called Open Space, and uh, they approached me and wanted me to do four uh, installments for them, and uh, that that was the first time I got you know cashed out for a poem. But it was like interesting because those deadlines is kind of like what created the species of poem that was the foundation of the of the heaven is all goodbyes book. So I work pretty good with deadlines and this type of thing. But yeah, it's, you know, relatively recent. Now they're just beating down my door. You know, <laughs> That's you right. got more money than I know what to do with. Hey, you know? hey, hey. How much exactly did they pay you? Hey, you know, writing 
process from when you're writing a poem that inspires you versus a commission pose? The, the trick is just to kind of just constantly be throwing work at the page daily, just, you know, getting everything down. And then, uh, you know, if a commission comes along, I'm over prepared for it Got because it. I have so much writing and it comes to me so, uh, you know, relatively easily. If I'm in open. steady practice, right, right. So it's almost like I'm, you know, if you really do, again, it's like, I guess the theme is to continually do right by the craft because <laughs> then it's just kind of like I'm too prepared or any situation I'll actually overkill because I just try to stay in a relative zone of, you know, productivity. But, you know, at the same time, I've had, like, the commissions I get are pretty relaxed. It's not like, you know, I, I, and you hear about some poets like, you know, and they told me I had to write about, you know, somebody's backyard or, you know, something real specific. They just kind of let me loose, you know. I don't have to do much, uh, nothing much specific. So it's easy. Shout out to the SL. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> Louder than earth. <laughs> Shout out to everything you've accomplished thus far. Which one are you most proud of? Um, I got to say I'm, I'm most proud of the book, you know. Exactly. And I'm written. Heaven is all goodbye. Heaven is all goodbye. Pop it. Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I get it? <laughs> well, that, you can get that uh, uh, the cheapest. Oh. Uh, the cheapest place you can <laughs> probably get it. <laughs> <laughs>
mystery, you know, like, there's, you know, there's, there are poets that, you know, they make beautiful moves on the page, but they're kind of, not necessarily predictable, but you see, okay, I see how they did that. It's just kind of like, Audrey Lord just has this imagination that's just kind of like unfathomable, but she, she makes a move on the page, and I'm just like, I don't know how. And, um, you know, just what, what I got from looking at her stuff, not necessarily like a direct kind of like, necessarily pattern myself after her, but what she kind of gave me was just like permission, you know, just permission to do whatever I want on the page, just do what you want and, and make sense of it there, but don't worry about, you know, it's like a free for all. She's like a brilliant free for all. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'll definitely go with Audrey Lord. There's some other cold ones too, you know, Roque Dalton is a, is a cold one. He was a Salvadorian poet, revolutionary, um, who was actually killed in a, in a revolutionary struggle. Um, you know, just kind of like the people that have had political, it's not a coincidence, I like poets of political commitment, you know, because that's basically how I get down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From your own work, what is your uh, favorite lines of I have. The five year old poem. Do you remember? It, it, it's no, I don't remember the exact <laughs> bars, you know. But it was about it was it was about losing my father, you know. Um, so I was already kind of like a too serious a child, you know what I mean? Or or was you know processing or you know or. or Keeping it hella real from uh, day, from day one. Full circle. You know? yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that, that, I just remember that's what it was about, but I don't remember the exact line. But I, I have so many cold lines, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but, you got to let people know. That's a lot for us. I don't know if you bars, are I'm ready for the bar. Man, are you ready for the bar? Yes, we are real. How many bars? Well, I'll put it like this. This town is coming to town. <laughs> a circus watching itself. Half distracted, half suicidal, thrilled children dressed as cops, thrilled children uh, preaching and policing and intaking and hiring and snatching your money. This town's coming to town with tough trademarks to follow. Today I watched capitalism walk on water and people play dead so that they could be part of a miracle. Did I get you a little yes, bit of yes, a yes, chance yes, yes. 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 Be on a higher plane, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can keep going all day now. We are in the day. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the last of our questions. Yes. Right on. So thank you for sitting with us. Thank you for us. having me. Anything yeah. oh, else you want to add? You want to plug the book, social yeah. media, something yeah. like that? It's just, you know, just, just look, look, look for me in a, somewhere near you, you know. <laughs> yeah, just check out the, check out the book. Um, uh, it, 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 if you would like uh, to have my, me and my poems come to your, wherever you at, you can, you can email Tango Poetry uh, at gmail.com. Um, you know, but besides that, I mean, if I would just say, say anything in conclusion, it's just that. I, I, I hope that my craft is just kind of like this synthesis of, you know, the wordplay and the exploration of craft, but also the political commitment, you know. And then the poems really are about digesting reality in order to do something with it, you know. So, you know, wherever, you know, wherever we getting down, uh, you know, 100 solidarity. And, uh, you know, if I was to campaign for anything, it's just, you know, that we all kind of step up our step up our collective moves. That's why this is so, you know, beautiful to see, you know, this is a together thing, you know. So it's just, you know, unity is the is the only thing we can do right now. So one last question. So we're hella real. <laughs> Y'all are hella real. <laughs> <laughs> You're hella fill in the blank. I'm hella nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Yeah.